Hey everybody, welcome to a podcast. Uh, this is Gentleman's Accord. We have with us today special guests, honorary gentlemen of the Accord, Christopher Fernandez and Jairus Godfrey. I am yep. Oh, okay. Just cut me off. Why not? All right. This it's is, better. You you can run this. Whatever. The, the, the beginning of my sentence was better than the middle of your sentence. <laughs> I'll buy it. Anyways, you're listening to the sultry tones of Logan. Just call me Jeff. We'll see. How's everybody doing? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. I has my bottle of Coke. My That's second good. bottle of Coke. So uh, I'll let you guys introduce yourself. Who wants to go first? Jaris, go first. Chris. Uh, Oh, damn. Okay, well, I'm Jairus, and other people call me Captain Gingies because I have my own channel. And and he sounds like Wally for some reason. <laughs> Why do I sound like Wally? Uh, you're cutting in and out really, really fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I don't know why. It's all good. Keep going. Captain Gingies, you have your own channel. I do have my own channel, and I make a lot of videos when I'm, I'm, well, I'm trying to catch up putting my videos online but yeah that's yeah. about it you do you do other stuff i'll figure skate and, and that's it <laughs> i figure skate it. anyways yeah chris your turn go 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 hey everybody i'm chris uh chris fernandez i'm a director out in a uh, uh, vancouver bc currently at ubc uh member of delta kappa epsilon fraternity you know go d call that jazz and, uh, yeah, no, just jumping on this podcast so you can listen to the lovely sound of my voice. It's true. It's making me hot. Uh, it's British, so it is. I just realized <laughs> we have, like, a coast-to-coast -coast edition of the podcast going here. Fuck yeah, buddy. Yeah. yeah. We got uh, Chris down in BC. We got Jairus down in uh, Nova Scotia. And New Brunswick. I'm, you get it wrong every time. Just, it's <laughs> mostly that I don't care. <laughs> yeah, first, it's, well, PEI is okay because I lived there. It's and now true. it's Nova Scotia. I have never lived there. <laughs> well, you know what, Jairus? I'm Same not going to let Same you thing. derail me with your logic and semantics. <laughs> and Logan's, Logan's up in the uh, frozen wasteland of Edmonton, Alberta. So, you know, it sucks to be him. It's true. It was, I was just there. So, yeah. It was nice and sunny yesterday. And then it snowed today. And it sucked. That sucks. Well, I was outside like, the teacher. It was like, what, plus three, though? I don't know. I was inside working all day. Lame. Uh, yeah, but it was like eight. It was eight degrees, but it was so. A I was so angry when I was there. Thursday it snowed. Thursday here was plus twenty five. <laughs> is that always how it is when you travel, though? Yeah. Well, yeah. how when I travel? Well, anybody anyone travels, else? It's like, oh, it sucks here. Where I was is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, as cool as talking about the weather is. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what have we got what have we got lined up tonight, Logan? Isn't that isn't that how you start a conversation? Is hey, how about that weather? Yeah, yeah, that's how, how I start it. It's good how I get all the women. It's true. Uh, anyways, so uh, what are we talking about today, Chris? What do you got going on? Well, uh, I'm hungover, as I always am. Um, sitting back here with Pap's blue ribbon, you know, being classy, all that jazz. <laughs> Gotta uh, keep it classy. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I was actually out all weekend at um, a uh, Manning Park. It's like a uh, a cabin resort almost, right? And it's really cool because we got all of these basically drunk fraternity guys just being douchebags to everyone there, and we fucking ruled. It was the best. Nice. Sounds fun. Yeah. I'm so glad I missed it. <laughs> uh, it's it, it was good. It was good. I mean, uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, might have drank a bit too much, but you know what? There's no such thing as too There's much, no really. There's no such thing. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is such thing as too uh, much. <laughs> not when you're drinking, there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> not when you're drunk, there isn't. The day after, you're sure, not... you had way too much, but no, while you're going, it's all good. <laughs> now we've got a last week of school coming up right now, so that's going to be pretty good. And the nice thing about UBC is the last day of classes, which is Thursday for us, we have what's called a block party or Arts County Fair. And that's basically where everyone doesn't go Gets to class. Drunk. And we just drink from 7 o'clock in the morning until we pass out, really. But honestly, who went to the last day of class, even in high school? Uh, I did. Sir, sir, excuse me, oh. was there every single class. Oh. Every single class. I'm, okay. Well, now I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> My last day of school before Christmas break, I went to the first period, then ditched and played Legend of Zelda all day. Oh, yeah. 
That's that's how I spent my day. I stayed home and played games. That's just. I went to my friend's house. It just made sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, what's going on with me? What about you guys? What's up? Jairus, what's going on? Uh, well, right now I am watching the gala from the World Figure Skating Championships. Lame. Because my brother was there and he came 14th. So oh, I didn't badass, realize actually. you even had a brother, let alone he was also figure skating. And badass. Uh, I have a brother and three sisters. I knew you had a sister. How bad is that? <laughs> a sister. Just I have three. This is all so surprising to me. What Logan is learning right something. <laughs> what? Learning, lo- blah, blah. Logan is learning something today. Yeah, it's a daily thing for me. I'm always learning something that I probably should have known to begin with. <laughs> probably. <laughs> How's your figure skating career going, uh, Jairus? Uh, slowly. <laughs> I, I am hoping to make nationals this year, but yeah, that's about it. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It it will happen. It's gonna happen. There's Patrick Chan needs to quit so I can actually do something. <laughs> just we, we, we can figure out a way. Just, we'll, just we'll knock him out. Let him win the Olympics and then he'll be done. And then he can retire. <laughs> Hopefully, Patrick Chan. But yeah, that's my life in a nutshell. Right on. Uh, I've and how been... about Logan? Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> just walk all over me, Jairus. Why not? <laughs> this is your show you're trying so very hard to put out. Well, you know what? <laughs> you couldn't hang out with me while I was in Edmonton, so... I could. Oh. You couldn't hang out with me. Douchebag. The one day you were free was the one day I worked. Should have skipped work. Yeah. Uh, except I was already at work by the time <laughs> I figured out it was his last day in Edmonton. <laughs> He's like, come hang out. So I'm like, ah, damn it. <laughs> you can be around Edmonton in uh, July. Uh, sorry, uh, end of June. Um, I may be, I may be there in May. <laughs> may. Hmm. What about you, Logan? Are you sticking around? Uh, it's the plan. I might uh, visit some family in BC sometime during the year, but that's because the only reason I bring it up is because uh, I'm coming back at the end of last week. But that's only because um, the uh, Vix got their after grad party, right? Yeah. And so after all the bullshit we had to put up with last year, I think we got to jump on board and we just got to basically make that life hell and just uh, raise, raise a little bit of hell. Stone cold, stone cold hell. Put them through what we had to go through? What did uh, you guys have to go through? I didn't have to go through much. I made the tickets that we never used. We used those tickets and Where? they went everywhere. Where did we use those tickets? Yeah, buddy. When? Wait, what no. did you make? What tickets? I did, all, I, all I saw was Chris was hung over puking. <laughs> what? That, that was the only picture I saw. I don't remember puking. Was I, I puking? I don't remember him puking either. <laughs> what, what, I'm pretty sure you did. You watching? I know I had terrible pictures of me looking drunk, but hmm. there was one of you like sitting with everybody like around you, and you were like you were about to puke. There's really? a difference between about to puke and puking, Jairus. <laughs> well, I think they were commenting about it. Oh well, okay. as cool as this conversation is. How about that other chick who was puking, huh? Oh, yeah, let's talk about her. No, I don't know don't who talk that about is. Chris. Who are we talking I don't know about? Who that is. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I hit the tent pretty early during that party. Well, early compared to everybody else. I don't know how long everybody else was going. All night uh, of me. It was like, what, it was like 4 a.m. and I was ready to turn in and everybody was still going pretty hard. Keg stands at 9, bro. You missed out. Yeah, I heard. Oh god, I, I sound like an alcoholic. Jesus Christ! No, it's all good. It's high school. <laughs> no, I have a, I have totally a good okay. picture for you there, Chris. Oh yeah, it describes you apparently. Oh no, I don't. I'm not an alcoholic. I only drink on. T- I only drink two times a year: when it's my birthday and when it's not my birthday. That's absolutely true. That is. Oh wait a second. Wait. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now see, now we're all learning stuff about ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is, it, is this an intervention? This isn't a podcast guess, intervention. Yeah, we trapped you in here just so we could have a talk. <laughs> <laughs> because of the Vic after grad, now you're drinking all the time. Yeah. Not, no, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was the after grad that brought to our attention that he was drinking all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, wish it, I wish I could say that isn't true, but I am sitting here with beer, so. I figured. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm sitting here with Yeah, the hope. point is. Sorry? I'm sitting here with Coke. Oh. <laughs> Coca-Cola. Point is, you talk about your drug problem, Jairus? Coca-Cola, guys. Coca-Cola. Uh, what a, sure, yeah. Whatever. We're not here to judge. 
So we're totally yes, you here are. to judge. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so anyways, as I was saying before, Jairus <laughs> cut me off so rudely. Oh, horrible, horrible. I know, Not rudely I know. at all. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> so Jairus. God <laughs> damn it. Am I even needed here? <laughs> oh, no music. I got it. Don't worry about it. All right, Logan, happens. you can uh, you talk like now. A, yeah, I'm done. A music flare up. Anyways. So, um, yeah, as for me, because everybody else got their turn. Uh, I've been going to University for Design in Edmonton for the past year, and I'm thinking I'm going to switch into journalism. Oh, I know. Why? Oh. I don't know. I just design is fun, but I think it's more of a hobby for me than something I'd take into a career. And so I don't know. you're going to write for a career? Yes, I've always got opinions. I always enjoy writing. It's I'm going to see if I can do anything with that. So. That's my okay. that's my new plan. Okay. Yeah. That's what kind of uh, what kind of journalism then? Uh, probably online based. That's where all the work is, anyways. Newspapers sure. are dying. It's a good idea because yeah. you know newspapers are going to go out of business. Yeah, and find the right people. I can have my own site. So whatever. Now, I, I'm trying to actually get into the uh, online media business too. Been oh. uh, checking out this whole uh, adult industry kind of part. Here. <laughs> <laughs> really, Chris? <laughs> get the, get this. Okay, get this. $10,000 a month. $10,000 a month if you produce like two videos. And what are, what are these, what do these videos consist of? Um, or? I prefer to use the term uh, tasteful adult erotica. <laughs> so, so wait, wait, wait. You're saying people will pay you to or have to sex or. with other people? Yes. This okay. I gotta get. This is a new thing. <laughs> this screw know, journalism. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so you know that's 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 what I'm trying to cook up. So I noticed still from the journalism thing, but I just thought that'd be an interesting little tidbit for you right there. Yeah, that's that's quite the it's quite the path. Adventures, my friend. Adventures. Adventure. Sorry, hang on. So journalism. Okay, we're online. Are you gonna create your own blog, or are you actually gonna like start working for like a newspaper online or something? That I don't know yet. It's a four year course, so I have. I have time to figure it out. Yeah, no, two say. Or two. No, four. Yeah, yeah, it's a four-year course. Sounds bloody exhaustive. Uh, the design course I'm in right now is a five-year course, and I've gone through one year, and I was like, screw this. <laughs> well, you have fun doing it, right? You don't want to have it turn into something which is just, you know, more I do. work. Than... Yeah, I just, I, I hate the idea of something I enjoy turning into work, and I think that's what's turned me off of it. And right. All the horror uh, stories yeah. you hear about graphic artists who uh, their ideas are completely belittled by whoever they're working for at the time. It, it, it's not so much uh, you're designing as you are making something other people think are pretty. Oh, no, 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 for sure. I mean, the thing is, like, you'll come out with something you really like, and your employer will come over and say something completely stupid and just say, I want it to be much more like this and just basically fuck up everything. Yeah. It's like, and that I sounds... See, I see you have a lot of green in here. Can we add, I know, uh, some fucking purple? Just, just, just... <laughs> Aquamarine, you know, can we just make, like, can we make like, the can we make the sunshine smiling? Can that be a thing? I I'm totally lost right now. That's okay. Right. That's okay. I'll be right back, guys. All right. Oh, okay. He's gone. No, I was just saying because uh, in the design industry, you're rarely working for yourself. You're uh, okay. working for a company or another individual. That's, well, I'm going into web design. Yeah. Well, that's I'm sure that's about the same thing. About the same thing. Yeah. But um, pretty much you can come up with something that you went through school for and it is beautiful, but the, someone else can look at it. And since they're paying you money, they can ultimately make say, it. redo all of this, make it dumb. I don't care. And you have to do it. You got to take it with a smile on your face. Yeah. Well, good thing that's not the thing that I love doing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Web design. Yeah. I'm doing it because yeah. I need something else to go with coaching for now. What are you coaching? That was a dumb question, Logan. Uh, just, uh, that was a very dumb okay, question. Okay, no, um, I'll give you that Think one. About it. <laughs> Use your brain cells. What is the only sport that I play? Basketball. Oh, I was going to say badminton. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about... 
Can shuffleboard be a thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shuffleboard is, but is it a, no. a water polo? <laughs> Wait, water polo, is that is we that talked where you talked about it at the beginning of the oh it's, keg stands? Yes, Jairus, that's the joke. I'm sad now. Okay. <laughs> uh anyways, um so did I tell anybody about uh my first nine one one call ever? It happened Ooh. a couple of weeks ago. I wanna hear is this. Everyone okay. okay. <laughs> is everyone okay? Yeah, no. I I'm I think so. It was no one I knew. Um, I just got out of a movie and I was heading towards the bus stop and there was this lady, she asked me for change, said she was homeless. I was like, whatever, I have a dollar something in my pocket. I just gave it to her, expected her to just leave. Don't feed the trolls. I just wanted her to go away. I'm paying her to go away. (laughs) I'm not paying for her to not be homeless, just to leave me alone. But... uh, (laughs) But anyways, That's nice. I, I'm not a good person. <laughs> Don't <laughs> pretend otherwise. <laughs> but um, anyways, uh, so she stays around the stop. Apparently, she just needed money for the bus. But um, yeah, her, uh, friend sure of hers, she did. Yeah, of course she did. But um, <laughs> a friend of hers comes over to the stop, starts talking to her, and then gets like super serious look on her face. I started looking around. It was like, someone called 911. My friend's having a seizure. And she's like, no, no, I'm not. I'm fine. I'm fine. She's like, no, I swear she's having a seizure. I know this lady. She lives with me. Uh, this is not the first time this has happened. And I was like, I'm like, what do people get from faking a seizure? Whatever. I'll just pull out my phone, call 911. This is going to become a thing. Um, Hang on, wait. So a woman goes over to another woman. And all of a sudden, one of the women says, oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. And she really? looked fine. Wow. Like, she was looking around. She's like, no, no, I'm fine. And then, like, halfway through my 911 call, I'm like, yes, I'm at this bus stop. I don't even know what street we're on, which is pretty sad. But I'll give you the bus stop. You figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. Dude, that then... sounds like mine. Like, mine was actually at a bus stop, too. Uh, what happened was that there was um, me and a couple of friends. Uh, were, uh, we were just, you know, at the Millwoods bus stop. Of course. Oh, Back in Edmonton, yeah. Right? Transit center. Yeah. We expect. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, back in Edmonton. But um, so all of a sudden, this guy comes over and starts saying, uh, hey, can I borrow your phone? To which, you know, my friend said, sure, yeah, here, take my phone. So he goes off. Comes back a few minutes later. Just, I just could do one more call. Leaves for another few minutes. We want to go home. It's fucking like one o'clock in the morning. We're <laughs> not ready for this shit. So he goes, one more call. One more call. Okay, bro. We're trying to go. We need to go. Fuck off, buddy. One more call. Oh, buddy. So everyone starts fighting and all the stuff goes down. So I call the cops. And, uh, the, I call, call 911. And the conversation goes something like this. Uh, you know, hello, 911. What is your emergency? Who do you want to be referred to? I don't give – why the – just send me to the fucking police. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's move this thing along here, okay? Uh, where are you? At Millwoods Transit Center. What's the address? Really? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Millwoods. <laughs> <laughs> the place where you get called to like nine times a day? Can you, can you hurry things up? Sure. Well, what, what is the nature of your assistance? There's a fight going on. What kind of fight? What, what do you mean, what kind of fight? Just Does send it a <laughs> There's uh, Spartans and Persians out here. Send someone fast. <laughs> it's Romeo and Juliet. It's hell all over. It's crazy. Uh, uh, I don't know. That, that was it. Money but, um, called it once. They're just fucking retarded times, but whatever. Yeah, but no, at, in mine, like halfway through my call, and I'm answering all these questions, and I was like, is this the... First time she's had a seizure, no, no, it's fine. And then, like, halfway through, the other chick that's not having a seizure is like, oh, shit. And then they both topple over. And, <laughs> yeah, I know. And then the other chick's just, no, it's, <laughs> I was scared out of my mind. The other chick just started twitching. Apparently, they weren't we lying. She was having a seizure. And you should have closed your phone, walked over, and taken back your dollar twenty-five. No, no, I'm not. I'm a bad <laughs> no, person, not the that. devil. <laughs> Uh, but no, it was, I was scared. Like I was super calm. Like I was sort of in the mindset, like maybe this one chick doesn't know what she's talking about, but no, then she just falls right over and starts like heaving and twitching on the ground. I'm like, Oh shit. Someone get down here now. Uh, it was terrifying. And it's like, that, and that was terrifying. Yeah. And then, um, I don't know, answering to the questions now while the chicks on the floor, and you're apparently not supposed to do anything. You're just you let them ride it out, which is the most terrifying part to me is that there's absolutely nothing you can do. Yeah. But, uh, um, 
Yeah, about halfway through that, and the chick's like, yeah, this isn't the first time. She's repeating herself at this point. She's freaking out, too. And she's like, this isn't the first time. This is an alcoholic seizure, and I calmed right the hell down. Like, part of me just stopped caring. I was like, you bro-. like, it was okay if she was epileptic. I'd be like, oh, my God, this is horrible. But an alcoholic seizure, I'm like, you kind of brought this on yourself. Let's just yep. move this along and get her out of here. And I kind of felt well, really it, bad at that it point. It could have been like a too gene late. thing too, though. It, yeah, it's fair enough. But I, I mean, know. like, same thing happened at one of the high school parties I went to. There was this drunk chick who obviously drank way too much. I don't even know if she drank two beers or, like, one shot of tequila. But she is freaking out. Anyway, she ended up seeing a party and all of a sudden she's just down on the ground fucking having a seizure, right? And so, you know, everyone's around like, oh, my God, what do we do? But you're right. You, you can't do anything. You just have to sit there and watch them, you know, do the heebie-jeebie. I know. Whatever. And I was talking to the 911 the dispatcher. She's like, the best thing you can do is uh, when she's done, turn her on her side <laughs> and make sure she doesn't get up and start walking around. I'm like, when she's done, what do I do now? <laughs> like, it's happening right She's like, no, it's just they're on their way. Just uh, just let it happen. I'm like, this is the worst thing that could ever happen. <laughs> when she's done, man, just light a cigarette. Uh, I've started carrying a lighter around just because I'm tired of people getting pissed <laughs> off on me for not having a lighter. <laughs> like, people Such are just a- like... Yeah, I'll be like, get off the bus, and people at the bus stop will be like, you got a lighter? And I'm like, no, I don't smoke. And they'll be like, F you, and flip me off and get all angry. And I'll be like, I'm sorry, I didn't, like, mold my personality and lifestyle to fit your needs, sir. But I don't have a lighter. But I'm just, I got tired, and I found this Zippo at Canadian Tire for, like, 10 bucks and just said, screw it. (laughs) I'm at the point where I might just start uh, buying cigarettes and walking around with those to hand out. (laughs) Honestly, well, like, this one you know, guy came up to me. Go, Chris. Okay, I was, I was going to say that honestly, like having a lighter, the coolest thing is just being able to make fire when you want. It's <laughs> <That's, laughs> like, that's like you get to play instinct. God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go, Jairus. Well, this one guy just, I was walking to the rink. So this one guy comes up and he's like, Do you have any cigarettes? And I'm like, No. He's like, Oh, you're too young. And walks away. I'm like, What? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> He Wait, could have gone to he... the needs that was right across the street to buy some. Oh, um, back in high school, outside the bus stop, outside the school, I had a guy come up to me and he's like, I just got out of prison. Do you have a cigarette? It could really help. And I was like, why was that first bit of information necessary to this? Are you going to scare me into giving you a cigarette? Because it's working. I'll go buy you a cigarette if you leave me alone. <laughs> It's, celebration it's Vic. Yeah, it was friggin' terrifying. I was like, There's, where is the prison near Vic that this guy walked all this way for a cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Vic. Remember? 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 It was horrible. Remember that uh, comment you, or comic you drew? Oh, about the chick that got, was it, or someone got stabbed. The guy, that got, the guy that got stabbed seven times? Yeah. And we believe like, it trying... was uh, an accident. Yeah, people were like trying to play it off like it's some sort of accident. I'm like, what did he trip on the knife like seven times? <laughs> seven times. <laughs> <laughs> it's like trying to keep a good publicity publicity for our school and not make it out to be some gangland war zone, but it kind of was. So, yep. Yeah, good times. Good times. It was still better than any other school, school I'd been to up to that point. Vic is still the greatest school ever. Yes, it is. Yes. All I, I hear is someone's, someone's playing typing tiny now. bongos or typing. Chris was typing. <laughs> Not typing. Don't now he's playing the drums. Uh, yeah, I so. can play ukulele too. Can you? Yeah. Is Chris still here? Uh, I think he went to go get his ukulele. <laughs> Did you? I don't. I don't know what this. Do I sing? And drum solo. Thank you. You got that, it. That was good. I appreciated that. Just, that. Ga- just gave us some uh, culture to this podcast. I like yes. to really create a, like a world vibe. It's it's what it's what you know. You got you got to spread the love. Spread the love, everybody. <laughs> got to keep it classy. <laughs> good good karma good karma to all our exactly, listeners out there because my name is oh Will. yeah uh yeah so that was my awesome story that took place two weeks ago three two two i weeks have ago. never had a 911 call i've never had to do it 
I that I didn't think I had to do it either. You'd be surprised. Yeah, no, I haven't. It's I'm okay with not having to do it. So yeah, so uh, so Logan, what are some news newsy type things that you have for us? Some newsy yeah. type things. Um, what are the headlines? Yes. Headlines. Uh, other than that Trayvon Zimmerman thing, I haven't been keeping up on any news okay. at all. Okay, well for the. I, let's go on the Trayvon because I have been keeping up with that. Okay, you go. You go. Explain what happened. No, but I – okay, well, I'm echoing again for yeah, Chris. You are. And it's – it's Sorry, I'll turn it down. All right. Okay, well, how it went at the beginning was that Trayvon was walking home at night with his hood up and uh, Martin Zimmerman – or is it George Zimmerman? George. It's George Zimmerman. Yeah. I don't know why I screwed up that name. but. <laughs> That's cool. George was Martin's and following him and phoned 911 saying that it looks suspicious and that he was following him. And then 911 was like, no, don't follow him. But he did anyway. And then he, but he kept going. And then next thing you know, there's shots going off. And Trayvon Martin was, you know, dead. So, and then new, some new stuff came out with apparently Trayvon's girlfriend was on the phone with him and... Trayvon was all like freaked out and then all she heard was shots and then there was George Zimmerman saying that Trayvon hit him and then it was self-defense and yeah I don't know what to believe but I'm kind of like George you're a douchebag a little bit but I'm sure like you don't just pull a gun on a kid for no reason like he was neighborhood watch he was he was um trying to do Something right. Like, I don't, I'm sure following him was dumb, but I don't think he just pulled him out, pulled the gun out and shot him in cold blood. I'm sure he felt legitimately threatened and had to defend himself. But no, but then, he called it into and the then cops. there was like the old pictures the that they kept having and then the new ones that came out, but I don't know. But why would, why would he call it into the cops if he was going to go kill this kid? That's the dumbest thing he could have done. Have you seen some of these? Have you listen to some stories before just, do you remember just, those two I stories that i told you on the first one that we did no actually not at all can i say them again there were two okay yeah. and i gave you i got there were choices okay well the first one was in philadelphia a 17 year old and his like 14 year old friends went and robbed a store and the footage was so bad that they they weren't identified they couldn't be Oh, and then they uh, put pictures they got, of themselves. They, po- they took pictures of themselves with the money and posted it on Facebook. <laughs> and one of the like kids, a false. one yeah. of the kids' grandmothers saw the pictures, was worried, phoned the cops. The cops looked at it and were like, "Oh, hey, stolen money!" And then arrested them all. Yeah. And then there was the second story, which was this guy walked into Walmart to buy a portable DVD player and the cords to go with it. And he tried to pay for it with a million-dollar bill. A counterfeit million-dollar bill. But the the thing is, he went through, yes, he went through the whole thing to make a counterfeit bill. But he chose one that doesn't exist. I don't know what was running through his head, but... In my mind, to be like, Wait, does sorry. the cashier have enough change? <laughs> His purchase came to like four hundred and some dollars, and he tried to pay with a million dollar bill. I just don't understand if it's a counterfeit bill, and he's he's obviously got to be good at making counterfeit bills. Apparently, apparently he's not. Why wouldn't? Yeah, obviously now I think the next is pretty much proven. But stupid, stupid. <laughs> but why? Stupid. Um, why make like a hundred dollar bill or multiple ones? Because that's a real bill. Well, you just don't want to be no, carrying Jack, around that's not a, a brick of $100 bills. you got to make it one easy, accessible bill. So he went yeah, for the million. Yeah, a million dollars. He said, I want it all. But, but just if, unless he was like, has like a bonnacle and he's walking into the stores going, Hello, I seem to have forgotten all my credit card in my private jet, which is parked three blocks down. And all I have are million-dollar bills. Just... Well, he, he wants know. it all. He wants to have a million dollars and not have to carry a lot of it around. Ah. But, yeah. but 
the cashier would have to have like nine hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars. <laughs> well, uh, I, apparently change. he was hoping she did. I, I don't know too many cashiers that carry that uh, that much change. Speaking of stupid people, and seriously, people have to stop being surprised when someone's an idiot. It's going to happen. But um, celebrities can they stop naming their children just nouns? Is that can that become a thing? <laughs> How about what, what is it? Blue Ivy Carter? Yeah. Like, what I the can understand fuck is sort that? Of, I can sort of understand if they're like, well, people will just call her Ivy. Well, then why call her Blue? Like, where is that ever going to come I, in? Ivy, okay. Yeah. Blue, not so much. That's, that's dumb. It's like, I'm going to name my child Unicycle oh, Robert Wiltsey. And people just call him Robert and never use the first part of his name ever, and it'll just be dumb. Well, have you met my child, uh, my child Cher? <laughs> Didn't someone name, Not related someone to name Cher. their kid uh, Apple? That was a big thing a while back. Apple? I, someone named, some celebrity named their kid Apple, and I can't remember who it is. But that's just, uh, why? At what point... Uh, if you're like the nurse in the hospital taking down the name when the baby's born, at what point when you're like, what are you going to name the baby? And Beyonce turns to you and it says Blue Ivy. At what point do you just stop and be like, no, just and no. laugh? I'm going to write down <laughs> how about, Ashley. How about just stop and laugh? No, just I'm, I'm, I'm just going to write down Ashley and uh, you can go and get it legally changed later. You'll have to pay for it. But then you'll understand that there are repercussions for your retarded decisions. Dumb names. <laughs> yes. Stop living in your fantastic euphoria celebrity heaven world and, you know, just take it back a notch. Name her Sarah or something. Like, come on. That's a normal name. Exactly. Or just go with Ivy, not Yeah, just Blue. Ivy. That uh, Blue Ivy sounds like something you picked out to paint your living room. Honestly, sounds like an STI. <laughs> oh man, Blue Ivy flare up. <laughs> uh, oh my yeah. god. Oh god. Yeah, that's that's just that's my rant to celebrities. If any celebrities are listening right now, this is for you. I doubt it. <laughs> shush, 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 don't I, undermine. I doubt don't it. Don't undermine her own awesome. product. Don't undermine her own product. Okay, reach for the stars, Jerry. Sorry. I am reaching for the stars right now, but right they're on. kind of out of reach, and they're gone. You don't understand. <laughs> you don't do well. <laughs> they're also, you know, where if you wish upon a star, you're also, you know, a thousand light years too late. That star is gone, just like your dreams. Way to bring us down. Now I feel bad. Way to go. I'm going to curl up in a ball and cry. It's a, it's a picture that I have. <laughs> Everything is a picture that you have. That's the basis of I know. every one of your conversations. I know, it's awesome. <laughs> uh, it just dis- makes me happy. Uh, yeah. People or, you dumb. know, other dumb, actually more dumb people. I like talking about dumb people. It's, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of content to go through. How about uh, the leap year girl? We, I think we already talked yeah. about this. I, the, pr- we, uh, probably. But yeah, it's we, just, we put it we're out talking about dumb podcast. people. Sorry, leap year girl. What? Yeah, we we talked. Chris about has her. no idea. I have to explain this. We then. talked about it in yes. the last in the last podcast towards the end. Oh, no one, no one listens to those though. Oh, see, there you go. Now, <laughs> see, no. he brought it down more than I did. I'm sh- I just said no <laughs> celebrity <laughs> uh, <laughs> So leap year okay, girl well, was no. she? Go she ahead. was fucking what? retarded. It was like <laughs> one of her friends is like was like, oh, my birthday's on leap year. And she was like, oh, so how old are you? And her friend was like five. And she's like, bitch, why are you in high school then if you're five? She's <laughs> like, I just don't get it. It's like, it's like was, me. It was a scientist answer, on drugs or something? Wasn't her answer was like, to the problem to give herself an extra birthday to make up for that it? That too. Yes. That not, too. Not she to, wanted an extra birthday. She went from... Uh, this girl gets one birthday every four years to, I should have two she, birthdays every year to make up for this. <laughs> uh, and then she was like, this is what society has come to. Yes, it's a, society chose. 
that leap year should so, yeah, happen. Yeah, just just this year they were like, oh wait, let's add thirty one days in Feb in uh, February or no twenty nine days. I wow, that ah. Uh, Anyways, so this is going to be the last time we're going to talk about her in depth. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, she most likely, Good unless stuff. she makes another video. Twice in a row is bad. We should just stop that. I wasn't in the last one, so. Yes, yeah. you were. You brought it up. <laughs> I thought you guys, you made, were the I one thought that you guys was made about it. <laughs> but I thought you guys made another one before I, when no. I was in Edmonton and no. I couldn't. Yeah. We didn't oh. because you were in Edmonton and couldn't record. I could have. I realized I could have yelled at my computer screen. That's true. <laughs> but uh, no, speaking of dumb girls, uh, yes. why is it whenever when it, girls get girls together get, to hang out in any form, they always have to take pictures of themselves in a group in the bathroom? Why is that? A thing? Oh, my God. <laughs> I is, have no idea. Or, and then they start texting every guy that, that on their phones. I, I wouldn't know that. I'm rarely around <laughs> women. <laughs> so Logan's like, okay. I don't have any girls texting me. <laughs> I got tons of girls texting me, but I'm not around them while they're texting me, so I don't know what's no, going on. No, but I'm on. not, but I'm on the other end of these texts. <laughs> but honestly, so, no, 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 like, Logan's got a huge point. It's like, the girls will have to go to the bathroom together so they can talk about the guys in the bar, obviously. But it's like, oh, hey, we just pissed together. Let's take a group photo. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's dumb. And why is it um, in at least one of the photos that makes it onto Facebook, which let's face it, there's like 10 of them in the bathroom, 10 photos of yep. them in the and, bathroom. And one at least them, one makes them all look like sluts. Uh, there's that. But I'm talking about the one where there's um, – they go through a bunch of static pictures. And the one that's my favorite is the one where every girl has their tongue out. That's it's gonna show up in every group of photos where they're taking pictures in the bathroom. You're gonna find one where they all just have to be licking their chin or whatever they're doing, and it throws me the hell off. I don't know why they do it. I don't understand what they're trying to express with this bathroom extravaganza, but I don't understand. They like using tongue. I'm okay with that. I accept <laughs> this. I accept this expression ex, uh, explanation. Explanation? Yes. Explanation? I the, tried what explanation is that? and expression at the same time and realized that I'm an idiot. Well, that's okay, Logan. Yeah. We don't have Grayson here to <laughs> tell you you're an idiot, no, so you have we, to say we it. We still know, even without him. He just says the obvious. He's Captain Obvious over there. I'm an idiot. I'm okay you, with this. No, nah, I think this is, the, this is going back to the girl. What? What? No, go, 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 go. Back to the yes. girl photos, um, what I was going to say is that uh, what I love most, though, is that you've also got that one girl who thinks she knows Photoshop, so they <laughs> naturally enhance their breasts, and then when you see, like, the wall slowly curve behind it, and you're just like, oh, that's, that's adorable. Oh, where they just go into, like, photo booth on their Mac and just add a filter and slap it on Facebook, yeah. and it's like, Photoshop, I'm, I'm, I'm a fucking, special. fucking artist right here. Exactly. Or they take one And then they add, like, and... lyrics all across the thing. You're like, oh, wait, where's the people in this? you can't see the picture anymore. They just have words strewn across it. And it's like, this is meaningful <laughs> to me. It's like, god damn. <laughs> or they take I wanted one... to see the... I wanted to see the boobies. Why is there words? <laughs> well, yeah, that's true for us. I'm not sure that's true for everyone, but... <laughs> well, there could be lesbian girls that are like, I want to see the boobies. True. Sigh. Uh, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I had to say that, so yeah, let's yeah. let's just make sure when this part is playing on the video, we have a good picture of boobs. Yeah, I'll, I'm sure I can find it. The internet's full of them. <laughs> internet you, is full of them. Have you have you been to the internet recently? It's pretty uh, it's pretty awesome. I don't I don't understand I don't understand what you're talking about here. <laughs> Chris is like, I don't use that. I use my own camera. <laughs> I'll, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't yeah, understand see. what to get from that. Is he finding other women, or does he have his own boobs? Did you not? Did, <laughs> but, but no, the, Logan. I'm just go, commenting on his choice of career that he wants to get into. Oh That's no! True. Here's the thing, though, right? Like, um, uh, because Craigslist is pretty big here in Vancouver, there is occasionally film Craigslist jobs Craigslist where they require. Was... Sorry. Oh, sorry. Go. Go. Sorry. Um, yeah, there's basically there's just film jobs, right? And uh, so one of them was for a uh, executive assistant. 
And I thought, oh, executive assistant, that sounds like my kind of cup of tea right there. So look on it and it goes like, we're looking for someone to help uh, with a you know, discreet uh, adult material, deal with the models, uh, take care of the actresses, all this stuff, right? And then we also need an editor to help out with uh, the special effects. So I send in my resume because, one, I'm a guy, and two, I'm an, a filmmaker, so, you know, put them together. It's gold. But, um, <laughs> I'm perfect for I saw, this. I was born for this role. <laughs> I know, right? So I get, I get a, actually a reply back from the guy, and he's like, oh, hey, you know, good to hear from you. You sound like you're perfect for the job. But I have to say, it is a fetish video. What, wait, That's where it goes downhill. Did, did he explain it just, it, what kind of fetish? <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, you yeah. will enjoy this. I, I don't, I I don't think you enjoy this fetish, but okay. you will enjoy this. Basically, this, this market for um, tasteful erotica is essentially, essentially, uh, it's basically guys who are attracted to 40-foot women and who enjoy the fact of them stomping on them or eating them. Eat, eat, wait, 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 go back. Wait, what? Eat them how? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eat them how? Like with a dinner fork? Like, explain this to me. <laughs> Think about a 40-foot woman, huge as a skyscraper, stomping round and squishing Wait, so is, little men. Is this, Sorry? like, special effects, or...? This is what they want. They wanted me to do special effects and get that oh, effect. okay. I was them. like, uh, where are they finding these Amazons? <laughs> like, where are they hiding? <laughs> but it was... They basically wanted me to help out with that, and as soon as I read it, I was like, no... No. Oh, that would be a great story to tell absolutely no Your one children? ever. Don't tell anybody that story. Never mind. <laughs> don't tell. Don't tell little Ivy. I, I, Ivy Blue. Don't tell Ivy Blue. Blue Ivy. Blue <laughs> Ivy. Say, hey, Blue kids, Ivy. gather around. Grandpa's got another story. This one's about the time that I did something I can never, ever express to you in any form. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that, that's the that's the kind of work I'm getting out here. Not not interested in doing it, but you know, <laughs> not it. It's there. Uh, that's God. magical. That is just delightful. <laughs> yeah, delightful. That that's is, the word for it. Uh, good I'm stuff. still confused on what's supposed to happen in that video. <laughs> they just get stomped on, and people, you know, do what they do to porn in it. They they. But that's what I was thinking. I was like, when I hear adult content, I think of porn, not. 40 foot women stomping no, it, to, on little to men. Some people, that is porn. Like, I'm sure yeah. they're naked in it. No, that's the thing, though. There's no nudity. Well, then what the hell but is that's this? Not, <laughs> that's not adult content. Yes, it is, but Tasteful I don't understand. Erotica. Well, that, that's, but, oh, uh, just. The point is, know. not my job, not my cup of tea. You had to move forward and find a better job, so. Is it wrong that I'm fighting the urge to look this up? <laughs> I want to find like the te oh, te technical name for this. Here. I'll look up the word for it because he had he had. There's an actual word for this fetish. Yeah, that's that's the only gross. thing I want to know. Is and I want to find a, a way to use fetish. it in a sentence. <laughs> Search in my email sentence. for fetish. This is a bad idea. <laughs> of course, it's a bad idea. <laughs> okay, um, giantess or and vor fetish. Wait, giantess and mm. what? Giant that, that's the name of this kind of uh, work. Um, yeah. So basically, Google image, um, giant test and no, more fetish. No, look, no, no don't do it. it. You, you, whatever. But look, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the, um, this is what he said, right? Um, we're hoping to find someone who can fit, who can work with long term and who would fit well in our professional yet relaxed environment. We are producing adult fetish steam material. Much of what we do is not overly graphic and deals with very soft genres with little actual sex. However, it's definitely adult orientated uh, with nudity and there can be intimate interaction at times. The scenes you would be editing are basically... Uh, okay, the, sorry, hang on. The basic premise of this genre is that a man gets shrunk by a dominant woman who then torments him and steps on him, sits on him, or eats him. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I think that about sums it up, yeah. Yeah. That's just, uh, so, I don't, that just doesn't seem right in my mind. This just turned our, our entire Germans, world man. upside down. Of course it's the Germans. It's, Who else would it be? Of course it's the Germans. <laughs> They're into some sick shit. Uh, they probably Apparently. think, the Germans probably think we're pretty boring people over here. 
<laughs> oh, they're just oh, yeah. Where's their sex life? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, Canada. Stop being such a Deutsche bag. So, yeah, they, like, Deutsch go bag. online. They, they go online. Deutsch. They're like, so wait, 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 wait. They just, they just get naked? Like, I don't, where's, I don't understand. This. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't look it up. It's just, no, no, nope, nope. Of course, Chris looks it up all the time. Well, I after he being, doesn't deny it. After being introduced to it, I'd be pretty uh, obsessed. obsessed. Not an obsessed. What's the word I'm looking for? Obsessed. Woohoo, buddy! Well, I I know. Simmer down. Simmer down. Logan's getting obsessed <laughs> with porn. Uh, getting. What are you talking about? Oh, um, Logan! As cool as it is, three guys talking about naked women, which is pretty cool. Let's be honest. <laughs> Our viewers gonna be like, "Oh wait, there." Uh, just nope. <laughs> our viewers. Sorry, our, our listener. Viewer. <laughs> our listeners. <laughs> I'm just so used to saying viewers. I know, but it because this is uh, originally this is gonna go up on YouTube, and then I'll figure out what I have to do to get it up on the iTunes eventually. But, uh, oh, iTunes, the iTunes, iTunes, where they can uh, buy it. Yes. But uh, first of all, I want to get I want to get us out, like who we are and stuff like that. I want to get it out to as many people before I try to throw it on a. I am echoing Chris's headphone, and I'm, it's annoying. To Chris, me. Chris, throw headphones in. Uh, hang on. Uh, uh, so much work. I know we're horribly pe- horrible people. I can't talk. I thought he was gonna people. buy a headset. No, he bought a mic. Oh, I thought he was going to buy a headset. I'm buying a new headset sometime soon. The Turtle Beaches! The cheapest uh, mic around me that I know about is a 150 professional podcast mic at HRV. And I do not have that money. Uh, I'm buying Turtle Beaches for like 70 bucks. I'll have to look it up. Just just letting uh, Chris rustle around back there. Well, he hasn't got his headphones in yet. No. Oh, now he does. There we go, I think. Can you hear me now? Yep. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Is Chris there? Well, I can can hear I think Chris is trying to get his headphones in. This is just riveting for everybody listening right now. Everybody's on the edge of their seats. What's going to happen next? Waiting for Chris to come back. He's like, oh, what's going to happen? What's, what? Is he back? This fucking sucks. No, this is terrible. What's going on? I had to Why put the headphones in the back. Because I had to put the headphones back into uh, my uh, computer tower, which means I have to sit under my desk to talk now. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, picturing that is just wonderful. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, great. I feel like a troll right now. It's great. <laughs> hey, my key. Just found my key. Uh, nice. See, this was. This was I don't know. Meant to be. This was what, great, what Chris. Before. We yeah. had we had an intervention. He found his key, I guess. We talked hey, about I found a beer. Porn. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh, uh, intervention speaking... again. He found a beer. Oh, uh, it's okay. Uh, speaking of speaking of Chris, Chris, you got some stuff you're working on that I'm pretty interested in, or that you were working on. I don't know where you are in the production timeline this. of the uh, Tortum Lip Dub. Oh, that lippity doo da. Yeah, I like yeah. it. What is this lippity doo da? Okay, so basically, one of the biggest uh, one of the biggest projects of this year is we um we did a lip dub. Uh, I know if you guys know what that is. It's basically where you get like uh, a good amount of people and they start singing along with a song, and then you videotape it, and it's usually of them doing funny kind of you know like uh, you know hilarious stuff like wearing a morph suit and all of that funny stuff. Yes. But anyway. They, they yeah, in the video I saw, they did like a dance number in the middle of a study room. It was pretty great. Nice. Yeah, no, oh, that's I sh- I that's what we this. tried to do. Okay, well, that's what we're, we're we're editing it right now. I mean, we're running into a few hitches for sure, but um, it should be done in the next couple of weeks. But if you go into uh, my Facebook, you can probably just throw up some of the photos there. We had a good amount of people come out, and what I'll probably do is try and get you some uh, test footage and show you guys kind of behind. I, I will show the listeners a sneak preview. Of the lip dub, <gasps> this is high class stuff too. So right on. I'll make sure when it's available. I'll uh, throw it into the description. Thank it. Or oh, thank you another, very much. Yeah, if we do another video before, then maybe we'll uh, just throw it in the middle of that. And you'll have yeah. to link my channel too. Yeah, that's true. I got. I forgot. To I, do, I, do, I don't think we have to do that. Uh, yes, we do. I mentioned my channel. 
That's Sad true. Face. Now, if you want to see a real video channel, this guy over here. Oh, wait, you can't see where I'm pointing. <laughs> I'm pointing myself. <laughs> uh, well, I know I have more subscribers than Logan now, so why well, has I have for a while? Oh, snap. Are you calling me out? No, you, I'm just saying I have are 30. Are you just bragging? Are you trying to make me feel small? No, no because my Wait, friend has know? over 1,000. Oh, see, I have maybe 20. I thought you had like channel. 14. On my channel? I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, ever since I started the Gentleman's Accord, which is I'm trying to make a shared thing. So if any of you want the uh, want to throw some stuff up on this channel, I can throw you the password and you can become uh, an official member of Gentleman's Accord. Oh shit! Okay. An official I know. gentleman. I know. Oh man, I'm pretty sure I am a gentleman. Chris, Chris was there when we first came up with uh, Gentleman's Accord. Do you remember what we were trying to name? Oh shoot! Our gang. Yeah, we were trying to make a gang, <laughs> and we decided to call it Gentleman's Accord, and we were just going to go into a bar. And pick fights and let our big, tough, strong Wesley friend beat everybody up for us. Right. Yeah. Wesley. Yeah. Oh, crap. What's his last name? Smith. What's Wesley's last name? Yes. Yeah. I remember he's, Wesley. He's a, he was a military man even back in high school, and he was freaking huge. He was built. Yeah. And we were just yes, gonna, like, I found out you don't challenge him to a fight. It's always a bad idea. I found out you don't try to hug him without him knowing because he will almost kill you. <laughs> I did that. Me and what? Him like, How did you? Yeah, me and him, we were uh, we were kind of fake yelling at each other, like me and Grayson do all the time. And I was like, you know what? Screw this. Bring it in. We're going for a hug. Apparently, he didn't hear me, and he just, I just, he just saw me come at him, arms open, and uh, I got a hug in. But according to everybody else, Wesley's fist was drawn back because he thought I was coming at him. <laughs> I was like, I would, I could have oh, died. No. <laughs> It was but uh, going hilarious. back to a point you just said, Grayson and you are always yelling at each other. Not fake yelling. You guys are always yelling at each other. No, it's it's out of love. Yeah. Uh, Grayson's always yelling at you. Grayson's always yelling. That's the only difference. Not at me. <laughs> oh, hey, Trayvon Martin. What are you doing on the TV? What? Hold on. <laughs> Remember when we had a discussion about how you have to explain Shush. your shit before you say it? What do you mean, shush? Nope. Hold on. Hey, have you uh, oh, have you okay. checked YouTube? YouTube yeah, for what? YouTube oh, that, today? This, sorry. What's no, on I YouTube? haven't. Okay, on YouTube right now, because, you know, it's uh, April Fool's Day, right? Yeah. And yeah. so if, if you go into uh, YouTube whenever you get a chance, basically what they've done is they, they've set up a, a, the new, innovative, simple, economical, convenient, ladies and gentlemen, the YouTube collection. Now you can take all your favorite memories of YouTube and have them on DVD. Sent straight to your uh, home address. And what, what's the joke? The fa it's YouTube. Why would you have it on DVD? Um, why would you have it on anything on DVD? You can just stream it. Obviously, the joke did not fall through. My apologies. No, no, it's cool. It's, uh, but let's <laughs> just cut this part out. Let's, let's cut it out. Uh, Celebrities yep. shouldn't be allowed to have children, period. That's my stance on that. I think you should have to take a test to have a child, and there should be two very specific questions somewhere on that test. Are you a celebrity? Yes. One, are you a celebrity? Question two, are you going to name your child by going through random used Mad Lib books that you kept since you were 12? <sighs> and if you uh. answered yes to both, then no, no baby for you. Well, this one, uh, I have a picture that kind of comments on this. Of course, of course I have a picture. <laughs> it was like some people should, at the bottom, it was like some people should not have children. It was a Yahoo, one of those Yahoo answer things. The question was, is there something wrong with my girlfriend? And the description thing was like, my girlfriend hasn't had her period, has uh, missed her last two periods is there something wrong? She's been pregnant for six months. Um, so he just answered his own question? No. He was still confused on why she wasn't having her period. Yeah, so he answered his own and question. She, yes, but he didn't know. Yeah, that... He asked somebody else. That's the joke. <laughs>
I know, <sighs> but it was so, it's just like, like some people should not be having children. If they have to ask why their girlfriend's not having their period and they're pregnant. Yes. Anyways, I think it's time we start to wrap this up. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, is Chris still here? He hasn't said anything in a while. Sorry, I'm looking at Google's... Uh, Google's uh, He's looking at porn. For, um, no, that's not... That's not yes, yes, I am. <laughs> He's looking at penises. I'm sorry, I have to fill no, in uh, think... Grayson's spot with penis. That's true. Thank you. You're doing well. Penis. Yeah. Um, no, I think... Uh, yeah, I mean, when you, you talk about whatever we were just talking about, you know, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> doesn't even know. <laughs> Google, uh, dude, go on we Google just, Maps right now. No, why? What's on like Google an, Maps right now? We were talking about Chris. Yeah, yes, you I do. You want to know how yeah, we're he talking was, about? He was here. We're talking about how no, small he, Logan's jerk, pizza jerk. is. No. <laughs> oh no, no, no! We were talking about celebrities and having a test to, uh, you know, get names. Uh, cannot get names. Uh, have children. Yeah. Which I completely agree with. I also agree with, um, you know, um, extreme Darwinism. So. Oh, so you wait? Should extreme Darwin Darwinism? Are you saying that people should go out of their way to kill stupid people, or? What what do you what, what's extreme Darwinism? Basically, it just means that, that like natural selection obviously hasn't done its job. Humanity is stupider than ever, despite the internet. Well, I, um, I don't what know. I, if nice despite grab there, the Chris. Internet. <laughs> it, I'm sure the point, internet was a point big proven. Part of it. <laughs> the point is stupider. That, you know, like stupider, stupider. Um, you know, like we did. Oh, sorry, I've got a Facebook message. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. What? Ba-ding. What? Ba-ding. What? Sorry, Facebook. Yes. No, absolutely. I completely agree with you guys. Okay. Yeah, I, I can understand okay. that. Like, I'm sure it was a lot different when we were out fighting each other with swords and, I don't know, bludgeoning each other over the head with pickaxes. But that doesn't happen anymore. We cajole the children and they grow up dumb. Grow up now called Blue Ivy. Yep. They grow up blue ivy. That's what we should take away from this. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I if I if I could, I would name my child Obi Wan Kenobi. No, you wouldn't. No, no. Name my child Megatron. Oh my God! Why are you Come stealing over here, Megatron. Cook jokes? <laughs> <laughs> They're not even good. When um, he come says over here, them. Megatron. Sit next to Optim- Optimus Prime. We have to have a talk. <laughs> We're ending this here. No more of this. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you for- okay, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Uh, from Vancouver, right. BC, in Canada, in uh, the the planet Earth, you know, I just say thank you for listening. Uh, even though I was here like five percent of the time, <laughs> I do. I swear, I I don't swear this much, and I don't drink as much as I say I do. But yes, you do. Oh, okay. I do. I do. <laughs> but um, thanks for listening, guys. Have yourselves a great one, uh, gentlemen. Yes. Yes, sir. See you, guys. It was fun. It was a blast. Keep it classy, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Next time on The Zone. Oh.